the next video. Today we are going to discuss the rank size rule and urban primacy. Before discussing these topics, uh, we are going to discuss about two people who really contributed to it. One is Berry and the another is Ziff. So Berry was born in 1934 and he's still alive and uh, he did his PhD in 1958 under the noted geographer William Garrison. And after he completed his PhD, he joined um, as a faculty in University of Chicago. And he took the position of Professor Harris of urban geography. That is why he's too much related with urban development and cities. Now, when we talk of Ziff, he has actually talked about the rank size rule and his has given a formula. For this, he developed this rule in 1949. The rank size distribution is the distribution of size by rank in decreasing order of size. It is also known as rank frequency distribution. When we talk of urban primacy, we first need to define what is a primate city. Primate simply means the first rank. So primate city distribution is a rank size distribution. And the law of primate city was first given by Mark Jefferson in 1939. Urban primacy indicates the ratio of the primate city that means it is defined as a central place. It is measured by the density of a population and the kind of functions that, uh, that a particular city offers. Now, what are the factors that has given rise to the primate city? First is colonialism, then centralized government. There are many economic factors, then industrial agglomeration, rural urban migration, and the modern transport. By 2025, 60% of uh, 8.3 billion people will be living in urban areas. Now, what Ziff said. Ziff believed that a rank size distribution is the result of a balanced system for cities, especially in the metropolitan areas. Then in 1961, Berry attempted to evaluate the city size uh, distributions by comparing 37 countries. Berry believed that as nations develop and become more socially, economically complex, they are more likely to what ZIF rank size rule is. So again, uh, you will be talking of uh, primacy. Rank size rule formula can be written in this form, which makes it much more clearer. The population of a rank size, the population of a largest city, and the rank of a city. The rank size pattern has been defined in this way. Now, there are certain problems in the applicability of this rule. There is no universal definition of the city sizes. There are many areas where the built up tech area exceeds outside the administrative boundaries. Then the, there are many city workers who live beyond the building areas, etc. Now he has talked of curves. There is a convex curve, there is a concave curve. Now what is the rank size pattern? The theoretical rank size rule pattern is a straight line. Urban primacy is a single city and in a binary pattern, two or more cities are larger than the predicted size. How it is applicable in India? And at a national level, rank size rule is, cannot be applied in India actually. The upper hierarchy in India is dominated by three cities. For example, according to you know Mumbai, Kolkata and Delhi. In the second level comes Chennai, Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Hyderabad. Absence of rank size rule at the national level is because there is no integrated system of settlements. By and large, rank size rule relationships in India are an exception rather than a rule. 